Your first alert forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. I heard several people today basking about the sunshine that we had outside today, David, because it was so nice. That sunshine, is it going to stick around? That nah, doesn't look like it will. Oh, Clear sky. Well, there I, you I go. Know. <laughs> nice. That's the, that's the million dollar answer, right? <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, go. Speaking of million dollars, we'll have uh -huh. that. Uh, we'll have that coming Later up. in the See show. What I did, huh? Yeah, I like that. Go. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's take a look at the Doppler radar this evening. And uh, what do we have? But snow and rain off to our west and that's the system that will be affecting us as we take a look at the daytime tomorrow. It's associated with a low pressure system, a frontal boundary. Be prepared for cooler weather to come. I hope you enjoyed the 40s today. You'll enjoy at least near 40 degree temperatures tomorrow and then we'll be in the thicket of 20s later into the week. So you'll need to bundle up as you head on out Friday into the weekend. Let's take a look at the temperatures a little bit earlier today. High temperatures reached around 40 degrees in the capital city. You see that in Mason as well. Jackson Hillsdale both coming in at 40 and even 42 degrees. Look how warm it got down closer to the tri state in uh, cold water just a little bit earlier today. Now I do anticipate these similar temperatures tomorrow, but we'll be taking a trip downward as we look to the evening hours as that frontal boundary would have already made its way through and giving us chilly weather to come. Local temperatures right now, we're into the 20s because of some clear skies in the capital city. 25 degrees currently in Charlotte, around 30 degrees from Mason down into Jackson at this hour. Take a look across the region, satellite radar combination. We just showed you the Doppler that showed uh, the same thing without the cloud cover. The reason I wanted to show you the cloud cover is keeping some temperatures slightly warmer in northern Michigan and even out to our west in Wisconsin, in Minnesota, and Iowa at this hour. But this is a large system. It's a low pressure system that's churning out in the Great Plains that will provide us with the chance of these snow showers. So let's take a look 48 hours out and you'll see just that. We put that snow showers icon there right across all the blue that you see on the screen signifying all the snow that's associated that with that low pressure. And once it makes its way closer, will give us snow could even mix in a rain shower south of I-96. So the travel tomorrow morning should be okay as you see Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Once we advance this in time throughout the daytime, by noon, I do anticipate some snow to be falling across mid Michigan. Some places could mix in a rain shower or two, even though it doesn't show up there on the screen. Just be prepared for it in case the frontal boundary uh, will be making its way through as well behind this low pressure system, allowing a lot of cold Canadian air to press in across our area. Not only that, but some lake effect snow activity will be present going in to the daytime Friday as well. And that could even linger into the early part of Saturday. Be prepared for maybe half to an inch of snow across most parts of mid Michigan. The further north you go, the more snow you could see as we take a look at the amounts of snow that we could see across the area just to kind of get you a feel for uh, what is going to be measurable as you take a look up to the north uh, by the noontime hour on Thursday could see as much of a half an inch in Alma and the further south you go the lesser of the values get however even though this map shows about an inch and a half in Lansing I don't necessarily think that's the case. I still believe we'll see about an inch, if not under that, across most of the area. And that includes places south of I-96 and I-94, where some place may just see a dusting, if that, here in mid-Michigan. Let's take a look at your overnight forecast. I'm expecting a temperature into the 20s. If we get some more cloud cover, that'll hold the temperature steady. And I do anticipate a west southwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Kaylee's got the right idea. She's got the rain hat on. She's got the umbrella. She's ready for the possibility of some rain showers tomorrow. 40 degrees. See a little bit of snow as well. Take a look at the next seven days. 40 on Thursday, 29 degrees on Friday. Chilly temperatures to come this weekend. Once we get to the holiday on Monday, 37 degrees with then yet again another drop back to <laughs> winter coming by the middle of next week. I guess the good thing is it's at least it's not as steep as it usually is. It's only going like this. It's not going woo and then back up. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to take what we can get. Not right. we can do. Thanks a lot, David. Uh, after the break, who wants to be a millionaire? We'll tell you how one local man fared. Well, yeah, we all want to be. We'll tell you how one local man fared after the break. <laughs>